Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be tackling my spare bedroom, aka the room I want to turn into a walk-in closet. This is probably going to take a couple of weeks, a little bit of time, but we will get there. This is what the space currently looks like and I'm excited. I'm excited to have a room dedicated to a walk-in closet. I feel very lucky that I do have a spare bedroom that I can turn into one um, because this house was not blessed with good closet space. So let's get to it. Hi guys, so we are off to go and pick the paint for the house today. Pick and white paint, I know. It sounds like that it should just be really gosh darn easy, but it's not. There's so many different white paints. There's so many different undertones. I'm a little stressed. So these are the three whites that I got samples of. I will show you guys them. It probably is gonna look very similar, but I wanted to see them in the space before we painted the entire house. So this is called Snowfall White. This next one is called Simply White, which is originally the one that I thought I was gonna go for. And this one is Chantilly Lace, which is supposed to be like the brightest, whitest white. I'll have Michael behind the camera because he's going to help me decide. Um, so to me, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this one is quite a neutral. I'd say it's more like bluey. This one has a little bit more warmth to it. It's kind of like a little bit more yellow. And this one is more of like a gray white. So they are completely different. Standing back. I think I have a favorite. You have a favorite? Okay. What's your favorite? This one. I think that's my favorite too. Okay, so Simply White is what we've chosen. Hello from my dining room. So we did pick the paint color. I've ordered everything and it is ready to be picked up. So we're ready to get to paint in. We got it all. Has a lot of paint. We have a lot of painting to do, but I'm really, really excited. I think I'm gonna stop and get some lunch before we start painting, because it's gonna be a lot, and um, I think I need to be well fed to start this. Excuse the noise, Michael is scraping the floors, but here is what's going to be the closet. I believe the inside of the closet is great as well. Yes, the color that I have chosen to go with is by Benjamin Moore. This is called Simply White. It is from their Aura collection, which is just uh, amazing, amazing. This is an eggshell finish. We have picked a different color for the trim, um, and I'll talk about that at a later time. So this is very obviously just going to look, yep, white on camera, but um, we're very excited about this color. Do you guys want to see, <laughs> Oki, okay. um, the color it was before? There it is. It's like kind of like a beigey brown sort of color. They just fully missed this spot. I'm finding a lot of these kinds of spots above the door frame. So what I have learned today is this is definitely gonna need two coats, which is a bummer. I did know that, but regardless, I have cut around the whole room, even in the closet, which is all gray.
So here are how the floors and the walls turned out. I have these two Ikea dressers that I would like to keep in this space and I'd actually like to buy one more so that I can add rods on the top for hanging clothes and then maybe a shelf on top of that for some hat storage. So last night, Michael and I put up the brackets in preparation for today. Okay, so here are all the brackets up on the wall, so this is where the studs are. Everywhere there's a bracket, that's where there's a stud. And we wanna do shelving across the entire top of this. So over here is going to be like Michael's shelf. He doesn't have that many clothes. I've gone ahead and cut a piece to fit here. And it fits. So he'll have this whole shelf for all of his hats. I'm thinking let's get all of these up um, first because I wanna make sure they all fit and stuff before I actually screw them in. So I have two pieces to go over here. Now just a tip, if you were doing this, you have to make sure, well, I would just make sure that your piece of wood doesn't end on a bracket. Because you want to be able to screw it in. So here we go. We have all the shelving in and I'm ready to screw it in. Just to make sure that these stay flush with each other, I'm going to screw these brackets on. So see how it's now flush instead of being like sort of wonky? That's why we did that bracket. And I think I'm gonna do one here as well, just where these uh, meet. When Michael got home from work that day, we started working on the custom vanity. Now he created these custom brackets. They're a little bit more intricate and nicer to look at than the store-bought ones. And then we just added a top to it, which looked great, but I felt like it didn't look as great as it could. So we decided to add a lip to it, which I think really just pulls the entire vanity together. I do have this stool. It is from Urban Outfitters. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it here if I'm gonna buy a new one, but it definitely works perfect because it can still open the door and it slides right under without any trouble. Okay, so originally I had bought this to sit under the desk. This was gonna hold all my makeup. I have this in like the desk that goes in my studio, but then I kind of thought I really liked the way it looked super clean like that. Um, I, I I didn't, I don't know, I don't wanna see this personally. So what I decided to do was take one of these drawers. So I'm gonna be sitting here. This is sort of at my height when I'm sitting. And I'm thinking about just throwing my makeup in this. The problem is, this is a really deep drawer, so it would be kind of annoying to like reach in to get stuff. So I basically cut these little shims. They are going to hold this piece. I have to screw them in, obviously, but they will hold this in there. And then there's like a huge lip here, so it kind of doesn't look right here, but here there's a huge lip. It'll hold all my little organizer things. This will go. In here now and then when I put like the little containers in that store my everyday makeup should close you guys a massive process was finding handles for these dressers I knew that I wanted to replace the dressers I wanted to make them look more modern a little bit more expensive and I had it in my head that I wanted to do these like half circle crescent little things I like that when you line them up they kind of made circles but then I thought, oh, they definitely look like buttons. Okay, maybe we just do like the halves. And I knew that I was gonna have to like make these myself with wood because they were just so, so expensive online. Nobody sold them in white. And I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on handles and then just spray paint them because I was worried about them chipping. I tried a larger size, I tried a smaller size. 
And then, I don't know what came over me. I was like, what if I paint the front of these dressers white? Because there was so much wood in the room. And then I went through this process of, oh, am I gonna paint these white and do like a wood handle instead? I was losing my mind. But then I saw this on Pinterest and I was like, okay, I really love that. I do love that it makes it look a little bit more modern um, of a space because I, like I said, there's a lot of wood in here, the wood dressers, the wood floor, and these are from Ikea. So they're well-priced. I think, you know, two of them was like $8. So I was more than happy to get these handles. So the first step for this was remove all of the old handles. Now I'm just going to fill all of these little holes using this wood filler interior exterior also using a putty knife taking like a little bit on the corner so then i've gone ahead and measured this handle which is 12 inches and then i've added a little halfway mark right there at the six inch mark to know where the so that's like basically the middle of the handle now we want to measure our drawer which is about 29 and a half inches wide so half we're gonna go 14 and three quarters to find the middle of the drawer and then I'm gonna mark 14 and three quarters so now when I put my handle on I will just line those two marks up screw in there and then it should be centered new handles are on they look so pretty now we're just gonna do a little bit of cleanup I have a sanding block and I'm just gonna it's just a little rough so I just want to soften it up And then also, if you look, there are like some shoe marks on this. And that's because when we were um, moving in, these were in the garage while we were doing the floors. And we couldn't get to stuff, so we had to step on these. So I just have a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And I'm just using it to get the dirt off. I actually love these things. If you have dogs too, and like you find that like the doors in your house get kind of dirty from them like walking by or whatever. Really good for that too. Okay, so I cut a wooden dowel to end here because I do want the clo my clothes to be separate from Michael's clothes. Now some of you might be thinking, is it fair that I get all of this closet space and he gets this closet space? And I say to that, yes, because he doesn't have that many clothes. And if he had more clothes, I would share graciously, would give him another dresser, I would give him, you know, we could even like extend this bar or something, but he just doesn't, he doesn't have that many clothes. So that's all he needs. There's our space in between the two of us and our clothes. And then, um, yeah, so he has this and this. There's also space here, which I want to put like a white laundry hamper here. Um, I just have to find one. And then the reason why we kind of let the rod kind of go further, but there's no dresser here is because this is where all my long dresses are gonna go. And then it will be like all my tops and stuff like that. This looks really good. Also, if you guys haven't seen this light fixture DIY that I did, that is a DIY on my channel. I wanna get a new light bulb because I think this one looks bad, but like one of those fancy new LED ones that look cute. So I just put a couple clothing articles up there just so I could see like what it was looking like. I think it's looking really cute. I think here we have to do some sort of like picture frame, maybe a vase or something, maybe my perfume here um yeah something just to like because it's like a very blank space um but yeah it's looking good i have to go through all my clothes hang them up properly and like put everything in here there are some things in here um like some clothes i just moved in quickly but i will have to go through it all this is kind of a mess over here i still think i want to paint the brackets of this makeup table white. Um, I, I don't know, it just needs a lot of wood.
Okay, so let me give you the official tour. So when you first walk into the closet on your left hand side, Michael has his dresser. We're gonna get a laundry hamper there that's white because I feel like there's a lot of wood in here and it's gonna fill up more of this space, but we haven't found that yet. Um, he has all of his clothes and all of his hats. And then the shelf goes all the way across. I just don't have that many. Actually, you know what? I do have one more hat that can go there. We wanted to keep this clear because this is where the vent comes out. We want the heat and the air conditioning to come out. And also we wanted all of my long items sort of on this side of the dresser. So when you go to this side, this is all of my dresses. And up here, all of my hat. I already touched on this little light fixture. Um, and then it sort of goes like basically all tops tops, jackets, and then skirts are over there because I just thought like the shortest thing should be sort of over there. And then if you come over here, I feel like I didn't even mention this in the video, so let me mention it now. These are two Ikea dressers. Normally, if they were just the dressers, there would be like a big spot here that's like open and they wouldn't look like built-in kind of things. Michael took the top off of this dresser and then replaced it with this top, which we just got this wood at um, Home Depot. So it sort of gives it like that illusion that it's kind of like built-ins, you know what I mean? And I did originally want to get the really long handles that were like the same length of the drawer, but if I did that, I wouldn't be able to open these drawers. So I actually, decided that we had to go with like the smaller ones so i got this little lazy susan from value village and i just put my perfumes on it um most worn necklaces usually and then rings i have these two little vases from i think they're from value village and then i have up here this print this is from uh lennon and Bury. uh you can see it right there <laughs> um and then uh, yeah, I just framed it. This is an Ikea frame. I thought it brought some of the orange in from like, you know, the light fixture. I thought that was kind of a nice touch. I want to keep it sort of clean. Socks and underwear, pajamas. Mm, I think this is like a random drawer. Yeah, random drawer of some random stuff. Bras, um, all my t-shirts. I'm really proud of this drawer. It looks really nice. I had all my t-shirts hanging up, but I think it looks more clean like this. And so now all my t-shirts are in a drawer. And then I think this is like athletic wear and pants and leggings. And then over here, it's the makeup drawer. This drawer, I think I did sweaters. And then I'm not gonna show you the top drawer because it's like random hair scrunchies. That's where I keep my hair tools. Um, it's the most random drawer. Here's the little vanity. I love this. This is from Urban Outfitters a very long time ago, this little stool. But I sort of wanna get something white. I probably won't but it's just a little bit itchy. We also did end up putting up some blinds, some privacy blinds. And then uh, this little mirror is actually from Facebook Marketplace. And it's cool because it like tilts. So when you're doing your makeup and stuff, it's really helpful. And then over here is the actual closet to this room, which I'll go into in a minute. Uh, but then this is the mirror that we have in here. This is from HomeSense like a long, long, long time ago. In this closet, we did do a few things. I didn't film any of it because it was sort of boring. We just put some shelves in here. So for like all of our shoes to go on. So these are the shoes I don't wear often. So like my winter boots, my first carrot pair of cowboy boots, dress shoes. Michael's shoes are on that shelf. Um, and then I have all of my winter coats and my raincoat and some dressy clothes and then uh, I think this is like a scarf and purses and belts. These are two things I'm gonna sell. Extra hangers. Michael has like extra work clothes in here that he doesn't need right now. And then this is stuff I'm gonna donate and I don't think anything is in this. No. So we did utilize the closet, more so for shoes. I'm gonna get two laundry baskets for myself and put them in here so my laundry can stay in the closet and out of the way. But yes, that is the closet makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm loving the way that it's looking and that's all I gotta say. So, goodbye. See you in the next one. Ah. <sighs>